Hello? You were there. Ixul Panax Brekal. We met. Oi, oi. Hello? Abnaxus. Have we... Have we met before? We will. We are meeting now. Venari Abnaxus et al. I am Abnaxus of the Venar. Oh, uh, hi, I'm Zoe of, um, the humans. Who's that? He will be Ular Pala, chief of the Ular. Those who remained, children of the Purple Mountains. Okay, this is a dream, right? It was. You dreamed of things else when. Of Abnaxus who was. And who will soon have passed beyond the veil and into the great forgetfulness. In the dream, I will speak of the time that has flowed. And the time that will still flow. But outside the dream, I was like a petrified tree in the middle of a river, frozen in this moment, while time parts around me. So, why am I having this dream? You were needed. Achik, achik, nabe, ajna, achik, achik. The first dreamer needs you. The first dreamer? There you are. How did he get over there so quickly? There's some sort of doorway into the mountain. Reach this out and touch one it. Is also sick. This one is dying. Looks Carmel. What does that mean? This one's name is Looks. This one is the first dreamer. This one is like you, like your sister, like those who did dream and shaped reality. Another dreamer? Wait, that, that wasn't real. That was, that was just another dream. Yes, and also much more. We needed you to come. You came. You will come here to help Lux. Everything depends on this. Everything that was, is, and will be. If this one ends, everything ends. All of time. Someone... 
Someone else told me the same thing. What does it mean? This one is the first dreamer. This one dreams. And the dream is the universe. When the dream ends... W what's happening? W where are you going? Hey! Hey, come back! Tell me what's going on! Morning. Zoe. Zoe. Are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm okay. I'm fine. I. Oh, I was just dreaming. You were crying out in your sleep. Nightmare. Do you want to talk about it? Uh, yes. It was, and, uh, no, I don't. Oh. What time is it? Time for me to leave and for you to start getting ready for your doctor's appointment. Oh, I want to sleep. Yeah, well, too bad. See you later? Uh, uh, sure. I'll stop by the office when I'm done. Okay. Love you. Mm, me too. My path was altered. <gasps> Seagulls, put on some clothes. Scream. Euro trash. Oh well. Where is the. There we go. Wardrobe. The jumpsuit. Oh, I thought they would have fixed these lighting glitches in this town. Like, look at that huge red box. Those are citizens. Hold. Where are you going? Why? Answer the question, or you will be detained. I have an appointment. The streets are unsafe. Return to your home or business to conduct your appointment remotely. I'm seeing my doctor. What is the name and business location of your doctor? Dr. Roman Zelenka. His office is in Sasadri Tower. You are Zoe Meyer Castillo, a resident of Sonnenshine Plaza Terraces by OCG. Are you asking Pronounced like a J. Stay off the streets, Miss Castillo. It's for your own protection. Sure it is. Proceed. It's Castillo! Crowboy's here to help Crow you find way in profile. You look like you could need some directions, miss. I need to go upstairs. Like I'm in the slums right now. Oh, is that a dream mask? Yeah, it is. Oh, I cannot go up. Well, there's dream pictures all over the place. I'm running the completely wrong way, aren't I? Oh well. Doo 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 doo. Move along. Yes, I will. I'm not looking. I am not looking. 
Dita Gross. Dependable. I remember when I was that guy. Hello, Nella. I wasn't sure you'd make it today. What with the Panzer Pandu out in force? Say hello to our new robot overlords. All well, hail the overlords. Were you waiting for me? I don't do apologies. Okay. When you bumped into me outside the collective, I was confrontational. I didn't mean to be. You don't do apologies, Nella. You're right, so shut up and accept it. Accepted. So, why were you confrontational? Paranoia, Zozo. I'm just on edge with this party business. No big deal. By party business, she probably means the Marxists. And it's really none of my business. Party business? Oh, she must mean the Marxists. I'm curious to know what's got her so on edge. What's going on? <sighs> Manifestos starting to come apart at the seams. Too many conflicts of interests. Ribas is having a tough time keeping everyone in line. There's no consensus about strategy, about what to do to get people to open their eyes and see what's really going on in this city. Some want to keep doing what we have been doing. Peaceful protests, debate, passing out pamphlets. Others want to take more radical action. Like what? It's politics, Zozo. You know how it is. The hardest part is agreeing on a common agenda. I'm not sure it matters. We're last in the polls, and it'll take a miracle to change that. But anyway, you were asking me about Hannah Roth. I'm looking for her. Why? Oh, it's complicated. Queenie, you know, the babka on the boat down there. Sure, the... everyone knows her. Queenie asked me to look for Hannah, to find out if she's okay or not okay, I guess. Why the hell would she be asking you? Campaign business. I'm trying to get her to officially support Leia Uminska. Ah, it's all starting to make sense. Hell yeah, it is. You know, Hannah. She runs errands for merchants in Propast, does odd jobs for anyone willing to pay. She's helped me out a few times, deliveries mostly, and also... Well, that's how I know Hannah. But I don't know where she lives. I don't know who her friends are, I don't know how to get hold of her. So, why...? She runs a gang, all homeless girls, the Dragonflies. They operate out of the underground here in Propast. They do odd jobs, legit jobs, but also other jobs. Like crime? Like crime, Zozo. Pickpocketing, fencing, smuggling, selling unlicensed dreams. Drugs. Keep an eye out for the dragonfly symbol, and the girl with short pink hair and piercings. That'll be Hannah. Oh, I appreciate it, Nella. I'm sorry about getting involved in your affairs last week. Don't worry about it. You still haven't tried the pork sausages. The last batch was a bit... iffy. There were complaints and also food poisoning, but I just received a new delivery and they smell much better this time around. Right. Uh, some other time, maybe. I hope you find Hannah. I do as well. You're on the catwalk, baby. Oh, it's How raining. are things between you and Reza? They're... okay. Just okay. Rocky. And... how do you feel about that? Nothing's changed. I love Reza. We're having a tough time, but it's worth fighting for. Right? Things are rougher than they were. It's not like we fight every day, but it's... tense. We're circling each other. Not. I feel good. I feel fine. I try not to think too much about it. Listen to your own feelings. Be aware of them. I will. In our last session... Last week. Last week, you said you want to remember. Right. 
about what happened before the coma. Yeah. Is that still the case? It is. I haven't changed my mind. I need to go back before I can move forward. I want to remember. Yep. Okay. Good. I think it's right of you to focus on remembering. I believe it will help you wake up. W wake up? W what do you mean? I, I am awake. Oh, wait, sorry, I I'm getting a call. Do you need to take it? Uh, it's, it's just Baruti, my campaign manager. I'm, I'm sure it can wait. Sorry about that. Where were we? D what did you mean by waking up? Are you sleeping well? Uh, no, not really, no. And why is that? I, I dream. A lot. They're very vivid dreams. Lucid. Not like, like normal dreams at all. Do you remember these dreams? I think my dreams are important. If I talk about them, maybe Roman can help me figure them out. I'm not sure I want to share my dreams with Roman. They feel important, but private. Oh, I, think, I don't know I th if I, I want to I let think, him... I'm not oh, sure I want to up. share my dreams with Roman. They feel important... Let's just share them. ...private. I th yeah, they're... They're almost always the same. There's a temple in the clouds, surrounded by tall mountains, all misty and white. There's a strange, um, man who speaks in riddles, and... and an ape-like creature on a... a floating chair. I know, it's odd, it, it's crazy. What else? There's a child, or... I don't know, it looks like a child. She, or he, is very ill. If the child dies, the dream ends. We all vanish. All of us? Everything. The, the universe, reality. What does it mean? I'm... not sure. Do you think your dreams are related to your memory loss? Definitely. Crazy as that may seem, I feel they do. Yeah, well, you know. They may be a signal that some memories are beginning to re-emerge. You think so? Dreams are never just dreams. They can be mirrors, reflecting our darkest fears and deepest desires. They can provide us with clues to who we are. They can stir memories. But let's leave that for next week. Our time is up. Oh, oh, Today wow. was another step forward, Zoe. Regardless of what you do or do not remember, I want you to think about what I said. About working on your memories. About remembering. You really should write down your dreams, you know. It will help you remember. I should head out, leave you to your note-taking. Always taking notes, that's me. See you next week, Zoe. Same time, same place. You betcha. Ah, yeah. I thought we agreed you wouldn't show up at my office. I am not comfortable with this. Are they spying on her? She just they left, are. by the way. Hey, you probably passed her on the way in. She would have seen you. I'm a ghost, Dr. Zelenka. People do not see me unless I let them. What have you learned? Well, she wants to remember. And will she? I don't know. Eventually, probably. You know what to do if she does. You've made that very clear. What else would you like to tell me today? She's not sleeping well. It's her dreams. She used the words vivid and lucid. She told me about one recurring dream. I'm not sure what to make of it, but maybe your employer? There was something about a temple in the clouds. Mountains, riddles, talking apes. If it wasn't for the fact that she detests dream machines, I'd say she'd been using one. Oh, and she also said something about a sick child. If the child dies, the dream ends. Everything ends. Miss Castillo has a very vivid imagination. I doubt it means anything, but there you are. Your doubts, Dr. Zelenka, have been noted. In your professional opinion, is she starting to remember? Not unless she did go to a temple in the clouds to meet talking apes. That is all. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, how much longer will I need to do this? 
Without us, you would have nothing. Do you not want it to continue? I... Until she remembers. Until then. And if that never happens? Then we terminate. Good day to you, Dr. Zelenka. Wow, okay. <laughs> I just paid the doctor a visit. He tells me she has her mindset on remembering what occurred last year. Yes, Zelenka does believe she will remember in time. There's another thing we just learned. She has vivid dreams, as you said she would. She spoke to him about it. The doctor mentioned a temple in the clouds, mythical creatures, riddles. I'm sending you the recording. She described these dreams to him as particularly vivid, almost like visions. Yes, lucid dreaming without the dream machine. Sehr gut, Fräulein. I will contact you immediately if I hear anything else. I have ears in all places. The moment she remembers, we will know. 